MTN's South Africa branch to pay 5.2 million before the second half of the year. Chim was in the one talking to us about that. What's happening in South Africa and MTN? Well, I think we have two stories with MTN, but let's start with the money they have to pay. So on um first story is that they are they're going to be five point two billion uh by before the end of the year or by the end of the year for unused broadband basically. So they cut broadband, they were unable to use it, so they are they going to pay for that. That's it. The second part is they are receiving an investment or the fintech um the um, Momo is receiving an investment from MasterCard. So yep. Okay. I, I, I thought they were acquiring oh like they were buying yeah okay, the minor stake yeah mm-hmm. buying a stake from which is basically getting an investment yeah so what is like the important bits to this story that we actually need to know mm-hmm. for the broadband story uh, well i mean on use vf uh, sorry i said on use um on use broadband is probably because either they didn't have of this the reasons are, are not yet stated sure, but it could be either the users couldn't use it um you've seen uh, south africa oh people has, actually bought the broadband no, like, no, like mtn of course okay it's mtn like oh, okay. the spectrum they got so does that mean they could not like sell it like people did not subscribe I suppose. so Maybe what they have enough so customers. what i think mm. what i got from the entire story was that so um i casa that is South Africa's communication and blah, blah, blah. They basically, their NCC. Mm. So, did an auction where they basically auctioned broadband spectrum. Yeah. MTM bought, Etel, I think Telcom bought, and some other um, South African telcos bought. So, when they bought it, I, I mean, when they auctioned for it, it's like you don't pay immediately. You, you, oh. Yeah. So, when they auctioned, they auctioned, they got the bid and everything, but they didn't pay. And they didn't get the spectrum. They didn't pay and they didn't get it. So you, you've not paid now, yeah. so you can't use the spectrum that you paid for. That you've not paid for. Okay. I don't are you getting So what the, are they now paying for? What so are they, they are paying for? now to get the spectrum that they've not used. Oh. Mm, okay. Exactly. Okay. So. Okay. Why do I feel confused? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's 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 use a, an everyday item. You go okay. to an auction. Mm-hmm. You the auctioning maybe artwork. No. You smart shops. <laughs> you say not smart shops. <laughs> you go to an auction. Let's okay. Let's use Bolu's example now. Yeah. So you have um, a you want to sell auction small shops. You put um, let's say you had one bidding for the small shops. You bid. You have won the bid. Okay. Now when you win the bid, you are supposed to pay. Oh yes. Yes. So that you can get your small jobs back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you now decide that okay, you are going to pay five let's say five months later so that you can get your small jobs five months later. Mm. So that is basically maybe sort of what I don't know if they decide not to pay at that point. Mm. But it seems they had not paid for the spectrum that they bought. So they could not get it. They yes, could not use it. So that is basically So now they are paying for that one that they've not used. Exactly. To now use afterwards. Mm, exactly. Yeah, but I think the the really interesting part is this um, Mastercard's um, investment, and I think we we're, were talking about it and realized that Mastercard actually also has investment in Etel's um, fintech side. As interesting. Well. I think Etel money. So, so, like, is this is this a good thing or uh, because if they start having stake in everybody, right? I mean, and it's a significant amount of um, stake they're mm-hmm. getting, right? Or maybe to me, maybe I, I'm the one that thinks it's significant. But uh, I feel for some reason, all this, your fintechs will end up being owned by uh, foreign, you could, s- you could say they are owned by foreign companies, which is the issues we're having with most of our startups mm-hmm. today. So is this... Is there an upside to this one? Is there a downside? Of course. What, what's, what's the upside? They are getting a minority stake. Mastercard comes with operational experience that mm. MTN doesn't have in that space. Mm. So they get money to push their operations. They also get... So we don't know exactly how much stake they are getting, but they are 
definitely getting a minority stake. So, like I said, operational experience, they get the MasterCard, um, basically get the MasterCard experience. But what's in it for MasterCard? What, what's what, in it for MasterCard is you are the last, um, okay, so large parts of Africa are still leads to digital payments. You are, I mean, you have cases where, okay, I, I think the um, the payments, about 90% of payments in Nigeria, they are done offline. So mm. when you look at it from the perspective of a player in that space, they're mm. like, okay, that's huge. They're like, there's huge potential here. True. You go across all the countries that MTN also has mm. a presence in. It's the same the same situation where they have, um, we have anywhere from let's say sixty to seventy, eighty percent of payments still done in cash. So you could, you could say that okay, there's a lot of potential, and they also get to make money really. So it's um, it's Mastercard is not a they are not a VC, even though they do that, but they are not a VC. So they are not they are not just investing because they feel like throwing money around. So I guess it also shows that. Um, despite, I mean, for Nigerians, we frequently say that there are too many fintechs. But even with all of that, there's still room for yeah, there's still a growth gap, yeah. in the space. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so my, so you said we don't know exactly how much stake they got here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And you're saying, and we also said that they also have stake in Etel Money, yeah? Yep. Mm-hmm. So what happens if they suddenly, mm. this is just me speculating here and it's not going to, it's not going to happen. I'm just speculating. Mm-hmm. But what if suddenly they decide that, okay, they want to increase their stake and they steadily increase their stake mm-hmm. to the point where they become majority shareholders or can take over? It's a, it's a, it's a very... Isn't that a competition problem waiting to happen? So it's a very real possibility. Yes, yes it is. Um, it's a very real possibility. True. But, um, I mean, increasing your stake is a unilateral decision. It's something you say, okay, I want to do, but it has to be ratified by every other shareholder. And considering you're a minority shareholder, of course, there are other ways, um, I'm a finance professional, but there are other ways you can slowly increase your stake to the point where people really don't have any choice than to pay attention to you. There's always that. But... Will it be a competition problem? Um, I'm trying to think of how it could possibly be a competition problem. So, by the way, Visa, Mastercard, they have investments in some of our largest fintechs. Exactly. So, Interswitch, um, I think, um, I think, Flutterwave, Flutter like name any of the large have fintechs. They have, they have some some form of involvement, which nice one. makes sense considering their size. Um, will it ever become a pro- a competition issue? Well, that's where your government has to step in if it ever gets to that point. But then they are not just buying; they are not just buying this stake in maybe their Nigerian subsidiary loan or maybe a thousand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's um, I don't know. It's possible. I can't say it's not. It's possible. Uh, okay. And if it happens, is it really a bad thing? I mean, I think that's just for me. It's just too much power. I mean, yes. they're already the biggest like card like schemes in the world, mm. and then they take over your mobile money, take over your fintechs. <laughs> like, I mean, share this, share this, uh, <laughs> share this money. Let other people I mean, too. I can it's look for like to raise money and buy it from them <laughs> and buy sticks in empty, and that uh, that's your assignment. Look for to raise money, either through government support Elf. or. I don't know. Maybe look for another person who can front you the money. Should I look for money? Don't worry. I, I'll, 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 I'll take that. Crypto, money. That. crypto, crypto money. money. Crypto 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 money. Cr